Okay, we're here in the kitchen and we're going to make some beer. This is Kendall. Hello. Hey, and this is the beer stuff. Can you see it? And that's Jeff. Hi. And that's Maggie. Okay, let's tell them about the beer. Right now we're soaking the grains. Wait, we're wait, soaking the grains. Yeah, we're making a tea out of the grains and the attempt is to make an Irish stout. Ooh, yeah. why Irish stout? Because it's good. I like Irish stout. Absolutely. Okay, so we've got the uh, malt here. We're using this instead of dextrose. So this is like, is this sugar cane from what this is from? No, it's from barley. All barley. barley. Okay, so we've got this. We've got the hops here. We've got two different kinds of hops. One's from Belgium, one's from New Zealand. Ooh, what an interesting mix. Yep, so we got all of our supplies over there. Let's see. What's and you have bread? to, of course, drink beer while you're making yes. beer. That's right, so and we're drinking banana bread while good you're making beer. Beer with yep. homegrown bananas in our backyard. And you used to make banana wine, too. Yes. Yep. Made banana wine three times. And we Two also have a sink full of fish we're about to grill. We're about to grill the fish. Let the grilling begin. What kind did you get? Swordfish? And All we have shark that I caught. <gasps> mm -hmm. We have mahi steaks. And we have, what were these? Snapper. Snappers. Oh, snappers my favorite. Snapper fillets. Excellent. Okay, so what's the next phase? We don't know. We are waiting for the um, tea, which is the uh, grains and such are in a little bag there. And we have to maintain them at 150 degrees for a while and we're basically making tea. We put all the grains, they look like a bag of oatmeal, um, in a bag. If you want to see this, it looks like a giant flow-through tea bag. Cool. You see that? So we're just soaking them and we're making a tea. And of course we have a, a scientist here doing all this for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just following following uh, Jeff's directions. You're a smart guy. Last time we made um, this kind of beer from scratch, we got cat hair in it. That's Do right. Do you remember? Yes, that was an English brown ale. And I thought it would be the worst batch because there was constantly, no matter what we did, uh, cat hair that we were straining out of it. And then you had a party. It was like, instead of the six weeks you want to, to have the beer, it was three weeks later, so the beer was way too young, and that was the best, best batch beer of beer we ever made. I've ever had. And then we okay. brewed our own beer for our wedding. Yeah. And that was Tango second beer. best. Second best, yeah. And the fellow that owns the Indian restaurant where we had our dinner catered from wanted to carry it at his restaurant. That's right. He was, was he, was, he was seriously, he was serious. you know, uh, uh, fussing at me to say, you've got to do this beer. I said, no, it's totally illegal. Don't worry, nobody will know. You know, you can just, you know, I'll pay you under the table and, and then nobody will know where it came from. I said, that's so illegal. Homebrew. He really wanted that beer in that, in uh, the Taj yep. Indian restaurant. A noop. Yes. So that's part one. We'll come back with part two. See you then. Say hi to everybody on YouTube. Hi, everybody on YouTube. <laughs>